Hello friends, today we'll discuss about how to calculate return from any of our investment. In last video, we have discussed this holding period and then we have seen this return. So two types of return we should calculate and we should know. One is absolute return. After one year, two year or five year, we sold some script and we want to see how much total gain we have got from that one. That will be our absolute return. That means total return. Another thing is compounded annual growth rate, CAGR. We purchase some stock and after four year or five year or maybe two year, if you are selling, then per year how much growth we got? That is compounded annual growth rate or CAGR. So both we will learn how to calculate. So let us share me Excel and that will be easier. For practice, I have kept this beginning value 2700. It can be any value. It will be true for all value. In value is 3500 and time have taken two year. So absolute return this 29.6. How? This end value C4, you can see C4 end value divided by beginning value minus one. And simply click this, you will get percentage. Because here you upside, you see, can see this percentage coming. If you are removed from there, this coming number. So, or maybe general coming. So here you can see general or number coming. Or number, it will come to G to the general whatever digit it will come maybe after decimal three four five okay so downside you can see the percentage click here percentage and then you will get this value so like this you can calculate absolute return another is CAGR CAGR we can calculate in so many way this first way is or we can see the formula is to calculate this one is again in bracket this end value divided by beginning value and power above this is 1 by n minus 1. If you are putting this formula, then we will get this value. So simply just uh, for example, let me show you what you will do. You will put bracket, then end value divided by beginning value will close bracket. Okay. And then for power, just shift and six, you will see this power value coming. Then we will start again bracket one by number of year who we can put or simply here we can click here. Then close bracket, then minus one, then enter. We got here CAGR value. And we can see here upside general. So change this to percentage. CAGR we will change here to percentage and we can see same value coming. So by this formula, we can calculate. Another formula is same thing here. We will type power equal to n power bracket star and again this end value divided by beginning value. Then we will put comma in place of this shift six, this comma, then one divided by number of year, this two, and then we'll close bracket minus one, and then enter. We can again see this value coming. This is CAGR value. Again, we'll change to this percentage, and we can see this same 13.86 percent coming for example let us see this is a return for coming in six months then 
in place of dividing by 2, we have to divide it by 0.5. So, here we can see, we put 0.5 for 6 months, and then see how much coming. Then this is coming 68.04%. If it is coming in 5 years, or maybe see, take it uh, 4 years, divided with 4, and then we can say 6.7%. So it is true for all value, depending on our input value, beginning data we must have, then how much after sale we are getting and how much is the time frame. If we have these three data, we can easily calculate CAGR value with both this formula. There are other methods also, but this is too simple formula and both of who I have explained you. I think you would have a clear idea how to calculate both absolute return and CAGR. Thank you. Bye-bye.